بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد We're here at the lecture series Allah's Incentives for the Righteous at Masha Ibn Taymiyyah in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and we're currently sitting with the Imam of the Masjid, Abu Zainab Tawfiq uh, to get his insight, input, and opinion of certain matters. And so first and foremost, uh, Tawfiq, uh, what do you, or what is your opinion as it relates to the importance of lecture series of this nature? Bismillah wa salatu wa salam wa rasulillah wa ashara an la ilaha illa Allah wahduhu la sharika la wa ashara anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasoola imma ba' This lecture series is essential for every Muslim to try to benefit from and the likes of it. And we see of aid in one another in righteousness this has been the past or the methodology of the people, the righteous of the past. We see when Musa alayhi salatu when he was given prophethood, he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow his brother Harun to aid him in carrying out this task. Likewise, we see Imam Mundir, rahimallah, who is the explanation of Mukhtasa Sahih Muslim, we see that his brother had asked him to write him a book that will aid him to memorize and to benefit from performing righteous deeds. So we see this is the methodology of the people of the righteous. And also we witness in our day and time from the likes of Sheikh Muqbil Rahimallah Ta'ala that have 5,000 students in-house and he wasn't able to travel because he was busy educating the people that was in his locality. And he instructed the people in the various big cities to have lecture series every week to aid the people that weren't students of knowledge or they had jobs and they weren't able to come to the masjid as much. As much. So on Friday, depending on the speaker that was speaking, they average from a thousand students or a thousand people to five thousand people at that lecture which was held weekly. Also we see the ulama and the mamlaka on their summer breaks then they go around the world different places and do various lecture series to educate the people that do doesn't have access to uh, this daily knowledge. So therefore, the likes of that, or the likes of this in our city, or in the West, it is essential for us, if we wanted to be productive in our communities, and also aid the neighboring cities. So, as it relates to this, we encourage the people to benefit from it, and to encourage other people to benefit from it, because it will have a positive effect on you, as well as your families. Now, as it relates to this particular subject matter, Allah's incentives for the righteous, in your opinion, how do you believe it impacted or influenced people who attend the lectures? I think it will aid them tremendously because the origin of people, as Sheikh Saleh and Fozan said, is that people want to be upon good. And if you clarify the good to them, if they are doing something wrong, immediately they will stop it and do that which is good. As it relates to this lecture series, then it is encouraging the people to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala last day. And to believe and to bear, uh, to believe and to study those things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have promised those people that believe in Him and perform righteous. And from the top of all of that is seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is from the best things that will increase our iman is to learn more about Allah. Especially seeing Him for those that die upon belief and righteousness 
to have a desire to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one that created us and the one that created this universe and send down his revelations and sent his prophets to guide us to that which will earn his pleasure. Now, as it relates to people within the city, within the locality, that had the ability to come, but for whatever reason did not come, uh, regardless if it's from laziness or putting priorities in affairs of this dunya over uh, learning about the Akhirah, what, what words would you have for them? First and foremost, to be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because qalil min ibadihi a small amount of people from his worshippers are shakur. So to be grateful and to be grateful is everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have given you first and foremost from knowledge to learn more about it and to implement that which you learn and also to encourage people to come out to these lectures and other lectures of the likes of this in addition to that in addition to that Sheikh Saleh and Fozan he may mention that what the Prophet والسلام, used to say before he salam out showing you that the word that the dunya should not be before the hereafter or doing the deeds that will get us to the hereafter is that the Prophet والسلام, used to say uh, Allahumma aslah li dini allati huwa fi asmati amari wa kama qala alayhi salatu salam O oh Allah rectify my deen that will protect me from all of my affairs Shaykh Saleh and Fozan he says that is upon mankind if they want to be successful that they worry about the affairs of the deen because you will not have no excess except by way of deen now as for those who can't be present due to them living distances outside of the city and even outside of the state then what would your encouragement be for them we will encourage them to listen via uh, internet or social media uh, and also uh, those other people that are with them to encourage them to listen and uh, if you're able to gather in one place if not then encourage other people in the locality to benefit from the likes of these lectures and other lectures of their like and the final question is what are do you have any last words of encouragement or other than that to the general Muslims uh, and uh, my final advice is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have commanded all of us to do and that is wal asr inna al insan la fi khus Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swore by time that all of humanity is in loss or confused except those people that have these four characteristics and that is believing in Allah performing righteous deeds aiding one another in truth and being patient with one another along with the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَعَتَسِمُوا بِهَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا Hold on to the rope of Allah collectively and do not make division amongst yourself. Making this division amongst yourself, it is the thing that will harm us as well as our communities. So therefore, we shall encourage one another وَتَعَاوُنَ عَلَى بِيَوَ وَالتَّقْوَى to aid one another in good and righteousness and do not aid one another in sin and transgression. So it is upon being united upon Kalimat the Tawheed and to detach and distance ourselves from the things that if we fall into the greatest sin, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never forgive us upon that and we will blaze in a blazing fire. We ask Allah Azzawajal to make us from the inhabitants of paradise and detach us and remove us far away from the blazing fire. And barakallahu fiqh for your time. Wafakana Allahu wa iyaakum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam.